IELTSing.com presents Video Correction for Writing Hello there Svetlana Okay, let's jump into your essay correction Many believe that modern technology has brought people together but others say that it has driven us apart Discuss both viewpoints and give your opinion Now, this would be body paragraph 1 This would be body paragraph 2 Let's have a look as technology has evolved, it has brought people together, but it simultaneously has driven us apart. Beautiful. Great little um, vocabulary there. Modern technology has offered us a multitude of ways to communicate over long distances, which can have its benefits and disadvantages. I'll try to cover both sides and give my opinion. Excellent start. Excellent introduction. This is an empty sentence. I can put that into an essay about global warming, crime nuclear power anything so just be careful a suggestion i will cut i will try to cover both sides using examples from skype or using Ameri using examples from um technology companies and let's see and then uh, maybe dating apps okay to demonstrate points and prove arguments or to cover both sides and give my opinion let us start with the, if you're doing IELTS academic, I would, I would try to avoid the personal pronouns. And I would start with, maybe I just change this to firstly. Um, there are numerous ways modern technology has united us. Okay, let us start with the numerous ways the modern technology has united us. Okay, so here I wouldn't have put the article. Okay, because we never really mentioned um, in this is the first sentence of the paragraph. So if we said the modern technology, it's right if we'd have mentioned it earlier in the paragraph. So we're referring to a specific te modern technology we mentioned previously, but we haven't because it's the first sentence of the paragraph. So therefore I would have dropped the article there. Again, in recent years is more appropriate. Video calls have become one of the most popular ways to communicate with, check your typos, our loved ones. Skype, for example, is one of the leading apps used for this purpose, and as a result, has provided us with a substantially simpler way of communication in comparison to mail. Be careful here. I, I would have said, I would argue, okay, two things. First of all, there is a possibility that the examiner doesn't know what Skype is. I know it's a slim possibility, but still, it's better not to make assumptions and it's better just to give a description what Skype does. Also, I would have not compared it to mail. We compare, we can compare telephones to mail, but here I believe the advantage with Skype was not in its superiority over mail, it's its superiority over long distance phone calls. So just be careful there. Texting would be another excellent example of bringing people together, loved ones together, families together. Let's, you know, uh, be a bit more specific. But anyway, we need a noun there. It provides the ability to get in contact with someone in a fast and convenient manner with no need of a major time commitment. Great. Now let's close this paragraph and say, therefore, it is abundantly clear that due to modern technologies, here we can say in plural, or due to the modern technology, um, or due to the modern technology applications listed above, um, people have now have more convenient way. Uh, let's see another word for convenient. Have easier and more accessible and cheaper and faster ways to communicate, especially compared with the past. The continuous technological adjective here, technological progress, does have it its drawbacks as well. So here we could say. Um, in addition, as well is okay, but let's just try and upgrade it and we'll say, in addition, the continuous, let's see, the continuous technology, however, yeah, however, the, tech, the continuous technological progress um, undoubtedly has numerous considerable and serious drawbacks. And we're just emphasizing it here and we're just showing the, the examiner that we've got a strong grasp of 
the English language. And these kind of like adjectives are quite easy, they're, well, they're easier to implement than other uh, language features. Even though dating apps are meant to be an easier method of communication, they have the downside of devaluing human connection, connections. Okay, a person commonly using a dating app, for example, will have the impression that there is always someone else who is significantly better than the person they are involved with. Hmm. As a, as a result, it will drive people... So here, we have an absolute. It will. We could... But it's not really so definite. So what we could say is, as a result, it would probably, or it can probably drive people away from each other of someone perf, each other, in the quest for searching for the perfect partner, I believe is what we wanted to say. Another reason for being driven apart is work from home. Multiple jobs that do not require personal presence have been modified and as a consequence people are less likely to communicate in a working environment. I'm not a big fan of this argument because um, a lot of people would definitely argue working from home allows you to spend time with your loved ones if you've got loved ones in your house of course. Um, but that's the usual argument for working from home. And then again, I would close the paragraph out with saying, by saying something like, in an academic way, just concluding this paragraph. Um, thus, because we used therefore before. Thus, it is abundantly clear. Thus, it is conclusively clear that Modern, uh, let's see, modern dating apps, and um, what's another synonym of these? I don't think there is one actually. Well, anyway, thus it is conclusively clear that modern dating apps and the new work from home movement uh, can significantly and dangerously um, dehumanize um, interactions or let's see, devalue interactions, maybe. Okay. In conclusion, the development of modern technology has resulted in an easier way of communication. It has brought people together through video calls and texting. Comma, however, because it always sounds better than but, however, it has also pushed us apart by making us devalue human connections. In my opinion, the accessibility modern technology provides far outweighs the disadvantages. Okay. That's good. Now, just one stylistic um, piece of advice here is that I would have put the drawbacks first and then put the advantages because then it flows better. The advantages are, are fresh in my mind and right next to your conclusion, which is that you're in favour. Because here it sounds a little bit disjointed because you said the negatives, but then you can't, it sounds like an almost contradiction. However, if you've reorganized it, it would have been a little bit better. Just another piece of advice, Svetlana. I noticed a lot that we rely on um, full constructions. Where is it here? It does. Okay. And we've got negative ones as well. It does not. There we go. That do not. So what could we say instead of a negative construction? Well, we could use um, a negative verb. Multiple jobs that f um, lack personal presence have been modified and as a consequence people are likely, are less likely to communicate in a working environment. Okay, um, that's a better way of saying it. But the main point here is that usually instead of a negative construction we can find a negative verb and this helps the essay, it helps the, the reader uh, because it's a little bit more succinct and concise. Okay, Svetlana, you're doing super. Keep moving forward, and I wish you the best with your IELTS preparation. <laughs> Happy IELTS and for the exam.